Good morning and happy Friday. It is the first Friday of the month, which means that this is my payday. And in today's video, I wanted to dive into my payday routine. I'm gonna be showing you the entire process of how I set up and pay all my bills for this month. But first, I'm in my kitchen. We're gonna get some coffee before we go ahead and get started. And I actually think I want iced coffee today. And if you're wondering, I am using the Starbucks medium roast iced coffee and I'm also using the Hershey's, which one is this? Um, chocolate caramel coffee creamer. So that's what I'm currently putting in here. Good to go. Okay back in the office the first thing that i'm going to do is look at my electronic budget this is the first place where i start off even though i keep track of my expenses daily within my paper planner i do like to keep an electronic version for my overall or whenever i need to look back on the month So my business setup is a very simple setup. We have three credit cards for the business. So I have an American Express card, my husband has an American Express card for the business, and then we also have a Southwest card for the business. We use different cards for different types of points and different rewards. Because we have to make those expenses anyway, it's easier to put everything on the card, pay off the card at the end of the month, and still get the benefit of the rewards. So this is just a quick way for me to look at our expenses because within my business I also do use QuickBooks for reporting. So I will use QuickBooks to review our profits to make sure I'm paying my taxes. I usually do pay those quarterly and to stay on top of how much money or how much profit I am actually making. But for this point when I am just budgeting and looking at what's coming up next, I will use my Excel spreadsheet. So we're gonna start off with the electronic version and then I'm gonna share with you how I put that and put everything within my planner. So let's go ahead and get started. So the very first thing that I'm going to do is to go to my drive um, and I have a folder in here called Tom Finances, which I get this a question a lot. Um, Anytime I say Tom or I'm talking about Tom, I always get, what is Tom? Who's Tom? Tom is the organized money. So that is the acronym for my name, Tom. So anytime you hear me say Tom, the organized money. Learn something new every day. All right, let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull up my budget. Okay, as soon as I open up this Excel spreadsheet, the very first page on here or the first tab is my monthly expenses. I mainly will use credit cards for all of my business expenses because I get a lot of points and a lot of rewards for using my credit card. So I have two American Express cards one is uh my husband has one i currently have and we use both of these for business expenses and then i also have a southwest card that i am currently using for expenses as well payroll i do have an amount in here for my payroll this is the amount that i pay myself i also have additional Expen expenses for contractors, which I'm gonna add another line for that. But the payroll is literally just what I pay myself. I also have additional monthly supplies in here. Um, this is for additional things that are coming up. I'm usually paying all of last month's expenses and then trying to estimate what's coming up next. So that is my additional monthly expenses. And then I also wanna ha have in here um, some additional expenses for contractors. So I'm gonna add an additional $500. So I have the due dates of when I need to pay my American Express card, which I am going to add that into my paper planner. Um, I also have in here the dates that I want to cover all of the additional expenses, like my Southwest card. It's not due yet, but a lot of times I do like to pay it ahead of time. So I am going to do that today, and then I'm going to pay myself today. And then I have all of my subscriptions on another tab. So I have three tabs 
within this file i have my current budget or my current monthly expenses for my business i have my collab and brands that's where i'm keeping up with any collabs that i have coming up with other creators and any brands that i'm working with if i am waiting to get paid if i am waiting on something to kind of happen i will add all of those notes there and then my subscriptions page this is where i have all of the subscriptions for all of the services that i am currently using for my business um and so I use a bunch of different subscriptions based on just different things that I might need. So I've added all of those up here. They come out throughout the course of the month, but this amount tells me how much I need to have within my business account at all times. So I try and keep at least $1,500 daily within my bank account. So that's what I have there. But this is the page that I really needed to see because I am going to add all of this within my paper planner and these dates kind of let me know when I need to cover what I need to cover for my business. Now my personal budget is mainly all paper. The only thing that I will keep in an Excel spreadsheet, which is a separate spreadsheet from this one, how much I have spent on a monthly basis. So when I do my closeout, I will usually add that in here as well so that I can see overall how much I have spent in any particular area. But when it comes down to the day-to-day -day expenses, the daily things that I need to take care of, all of that is on paper. So I'm gonna be setting up my personal budget within my budget planner. So this is the blank page of this sheet. I know that it says eight here. I do get that comment almost every month. I started this planner in the month of December. So my month one was actually December because I was impatient and I wanted to start and work in my planner. So we're going to set this one up for the month of July and we're going to set all of this up to get ready for the month. So let's go ahead and get started. I will start on this sheet. I am going to use some stickers. I have these sweet kawaii design stickers. I purchased these from Michaels a while ago and I ran across them and I was like, these are cute, I should use them. So this is what we're using for this month. Now for this month's goals, I don't have any major goals because this is my birthday month. My birthday is actually tomorrow. So my only goal this month um, is to make sure I stay within budget. And, and it's also my husband's birthday. So my, my husband's birthday is on the 22nd. So we never usually make any restrictive goals in the month of July because we know we're gonna be celebrating and having fun. So I have set a birthday budget of $1,000 for this month. So that's $500 for myself and $500 for my husband. And that's the only goal we're going to have because I don't wanna set myself up for failure. You already know we're going to have a little bit more fun this month. And we have already been celebrating because I was actually supposed to do this budget last week because I want to say the first was last Friday. Yes, but I decided not to um, because I knew this first weekend was Essence and we were going to Essence. And so I just wanted to relax and enjoy the weekend. So I did and now I am working on our budget. So I am adding in all of my dates. The next thing I need to do is pull my budget planner off of my shelf so that I can add in everything that we did last month. I usually will just copy over all of the bills from last month to this month. Okay, so I keep all of my um, planners on my bookshelf and my budget planner is right here. So this is where I store all of my previous months. So I'm going to flip to the month of June in here and we're gonna pull over all of the expenses that I have in here. So my personal expenses are kept within my budget planner, but my business expenses are on Excel. So this is going to be the mortgage.
Okay, my entire month is filled out. The very next thing that I'm gonna do is go to my monthly budget page and fill this out as well. Write down everything that I have on here and then add some additional things that I need to take care of in the variable expenses side. I'm not gonna do much for my sinking funds this month, but I am going to review them just to make sure that I have enough for the upcoming things. The month of August does start hurricane season for us, so I do like to have some money set aside just in case we need to leave for a storm so that's the only other thing that I'm going to be checking on and then I know I'm not going to be doing any extra debt payments this month because like I said it's our birthday month and so we're taking this one off now because we're currently already in this month some of these bills have already been taken care of because they have automatically come out of our account so i am going to check those off like this one and this one i don't need to um, pay them so i'm not going to add netflix or navient on here because those have already been paid out of last month's money so and it was just the money that was just left over in the account so i'm not going to add those on here so now i'm going to add all of these expenses up and see how much we have left over is 2500 that means we have $500 left over now my variable expenses all are going to go onto my credit card however I do like to keep track of how much I want to spend on there and how much I'm going to pay it off so I like to keep the 500 because the 500 is basically going to go onto my credit cards so as I am spending I know that I have enough money in my bank account to cover everything that I need to pay off on the credit card so what I'm going to do here is put credit card and put 500 and then when I start to do the actuals I will break down how much I end up spending for each week under my actuals to see how close I am to this number so this is my very first payday for this month we're not going to do any additional savings for sinking funds but we probably will do some spending from there because this is where my birthday money is going to come from and a lot of the additional expenses that we have for this month are going to come from from this we are going to do a couple of home repairs and that's going to come from my sinking funds as well and I'm not going to do any extra debt payments but this will be the total for this month and there is nothing remaining let's do income expenses so the very next step is to pay my bills. So I'm going to log onto my computer, pay myself and pay all of my bills. And then after that, when I am tracking in my budget planner, I am tracking my variable expenses. So I will pay all of my bills for the entire month. And then I use my planner to keep track of all of my variable expenses. Anytime I spend money on food and I'm just tracking that amount and I'm tracking how much is going on my credit card so that I know I am able to pay pay off the entire card at the end of the month. But if I could pay myself that and still be able to pay off debt or put some extra money in savings, then I will do that. So guys, that is my process after I have paid all the bills. The next thing that I'm gonna do is just monitor how much we are spending on all of our variable expenses within my budget planner. And then I usually will pay that off every single week. That is my complete payday routine and I hope that you have enjoyed this one and I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep organizing your life so that you can achieve your dreams. Bye guys.